Hello, welcome to The Awakening. I'm your host, Angela Brown. Today's topic is good cosmetics, and my guest is Kim Anderson, and she's come here today. We're going to talk about what's good for our whole bodies. Welcome to The Awakening. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here. We've had some trouble getting started, haven't we? At least a good 30 <laughs> Just minutes. Just a tad. Well, it's, it's not okay. bad, but usually it's not like this. <laughs> All right, tell my view. Let me ask you a little bit about your life. You're married? Yes, I am married, happily married to Ken. How long have you been married? We have been married, oh my gosh, 15, 15 16 years. Okay. You have children? We do. We have um, four children mm -hmm. um, three boys, one girl, ages 17, 11, 8, and 4. Okay. Everybody just had birthdays, so um, my daughter is the 8 year old. Oh, so she's the baby. She's not the baby, but she's she's sort of wedged in. So uh -huh. we've got one under her, and but boys all around her. Okay, <laughs> let's tell my viewers how you and I met of all places. <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, you know, I saw Angela. I was in Walmart, and I saw this woman who just had a little bit of spunk. <laughs> Needless to <laughs> say. And so, you know, I stopped her and I just said, hey, you know, how are you? And we got to talking mm -hmm. and exchange numbers. And she said, you know, I'm going to feature you on my show. And mm -hmm. I went, show? You got a show? Yeah. And, uh, you know, we, we talked and, and here we are. And here, here we are. We today. are. Uh -huh. You can, miracles happen all over, don't they? <laughs> they sure do. <laughs> Let's they talk sure about do. good cosmetics. Yes. One tell me, tell me, topics. what's good? What is good? Well, you know, I think women need to... Um, do things that take care of their skin, mm -hmm. that help them feel good, that are not, and they don't have to be really expensive. Yes. Um, a good cleansing system. You want something that's going to exfoliate your skin, that's going to leave it fresh, something that's going to mm -hmm. cleanse it. Um, and the exfoliant is, is really very important because it sort of brightens your skin. It gets down deep into your pores and mm -hmm. it cleans your skin and it gives you that, you know how you see models and you're like, Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. how does she do that? She's airbrushed. <laughs> For one. <laughs> For one, she's airbrushed. For okay. one. Okay. But, you know, it's that flawless skin that we all mm -hmm. want. And so when you do that and when you're on a good skincare regimen, those things actually begin to happen and your skin gets tighter and tauter. Mm -hmm. um, and it just, just makes, will make all the difference. Should we wash our face with soap? Ooh. For my opinion, mm -hmm. And I, I, I hear it all the time when folks are like, you know, all I use is soap and water. And I'm like, whoa, uh -huh. there's so much more you could be doing. Uh -huh. And I would not want to say anything negative against any soap per se, mm -hmm. but I think that there's just so much more you could be doing with your skin, especially as we get older, that you want to add some supplements that mm -hmm. would actually help your skin, add hydration back to your skin. Okay, what about a mild soap, like something with glycerin in it? Once again, I'm just going to, okay. my, my opinion. Because I've got to get these answers for somebody I know. <laughs> I'm like, ask her about this. Oh uh, Yeah, glycerin soap. Glycerin soap. Now, to me, that sounds a little oily, mm -hmm. that it's got some extra oils in it. And so if you're oily, you don't necessarily need a soap that's got oil in it because okay. it's going to give you more of what you have and it's, it may end up clogging your pores mm -hmm. and then you may have blemishes and then you're like, I don't understand what's going on with my skin. Mm -hmm. So you just want to be careful that you're using products that are right and tapered for you. What about a facial scrub that's you know, kind of gritty like sand? I've mm -hmm. heard about those things. What do you yeah, think those about are, that? I love those. If you get the really? right one, if you get the right one, um, you know, for, for most folks, the, what I would recommend is a, is a mild microdermabrasion treatment. And what that does is what I was saying, it exfoliates the skin. It's a deep exfoliant. You have to go see a doctor for that, don't you? Um, no. Microdermabrasion can be done in salons. It can even be done at home um, with some cosmetic companies. With some cosmetic company mm -hmm. products. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, how do we keep our lips moist? Ooh. Um, <laughs> I think of chapstick. I think of Vaseline. I think of all that kind of stuff. Um, well. I'm going to pick your brain because <laughs> I got a lot of questions for you. There are a, <clears throat> a few products, 
and I'm, I'm being careful not to, not to mention names. not to recommend, mm -hmm. but there are certain things that, um, that I'm familiar with that I use that have um, a lip mask that actually lets you mask your lips, take the dead skin off, mm -hmm. and put a balm on that makes your lips nice and soft. Okay. And then kissable when, sweet. Kissable. I mean, oh. like, you're going to want to, you're going to, when you put it on, when you do it, you're actually like, you start puckering. Really? You can't understand why you're puckering, but you're like, I need to kiss someone. Then leave the house <laughs> and go to an expensive <laughs> store and start kissing everybody that comes along, right? <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. And then from there, with, with, your, with your lips, what you'd want to do is put a nice nourishing lip gloss or lipstick over top. And so you want to put there. the lipstick on first and then a gloss. And then a gloss. I've never done that. And then a gloss. And Yours are gloss glossy. You know, and it just depends. It's, it's, on your, it's your own personal style. Yeah, but does it stay like that all, all day long? It will Kim? stay like that pretty much all day. I may go back, like if I were to have a cup of coffee, if I were to have something to drink, mm -hmm. I'd probably just go back and put a little lip gloss over top. And no just more keep lipstick, going. though. No more lipstick. Okay. No more lipstick. Okay, now, doesn't, some women wear a very deep colored lipstick, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. I have very full lips, and I've had everybody ask me, did you have your lips done? I swear to God, I've never had anything done to my lips. I was born with these. But if you put on a dark color, I mean, my mouth hits the corner. Mm -hmm. I can walk into a room, the only thing that I can see. Like, those what? fabulous Look at those lips. lips. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like my lips make the entrance. So uh -huh. it's very hard for me to find a color mm -hmm. that I think is not going to stand out and, you know, what do you want to call it? accentuate mm -hmm. lips that I already have. Well, what you might want to do, um, I like to tell ladies to, to match their lips to what they're wearing. Mm -hmm. And so it sort of depends. If you're going out for the evening and you're glammed up um, and you have on bright blues or bright pinks, let's go with the color families. You know, keep it cool, warm, and neutral. Mm -hmm. If you have on cools, that means you can wear neutral lipstick. What's a neutral color? A neutral color would be a brown um, something that doesn't go too far either, too far off on the color spectrum. Mm -hmm. So you could go, um, you could line your lips and then put on a gloss that sort of tones down the outfit. Mm -hmm. And then if you have your eyes done, then you might want to be, you, you know, you might want to draw more attention to your eyes and mm -hmm. have on a lighter color lipstick. Um, but you just play with your colors mm -hmm. and not be afraid of color. You know, colors but when are you only have thing. the one color lipstick. <laughs> You only got the one color, what are you going to do? And then that's where I come in. That's where you come in, okay. <laughs> that's where I come in. Okay. And, and color's not a bad thing. And I, and I found that a lot of women say, oh, I don't wear makeup, or I don't, I don't want to wear, or I have one lipstick that goes with everything. You don't mm -hmm. understand. And it's like, mm -hmm. well, no, sweetie, it really doesn't go with everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, and just to expand them a little bit and say, you know what, if you're wearing browns, it's okay to wear a brown or a neutral color, a bronzy mm -hmm. sort of lip gloss. If you're wearing red, you can wear, you know, you can wear red. It won't stand out as much, but just to sort of match and play mm -hmm. with your colors. Match and play, okay. Mm -hmm. what, what, well, I've got some teenagers now who want to know something. Uh -huh. What type of coloring should they have on their face when they go to school? Can they use the liquid? face on their skin for makeup to look darker, or maybe just a powdery foundation. And these are just teenagers, 13, 14, 15 year olds, <sighs> already into the my, makeup. My sensibilities are being shocked. Um, so, so when you're saying that we're talking foundations, we're, and what yes, kind of foundations, foundations they should wear? Or, yeah, blushes or something. I don't think they need anything because their skin is beautiful. <laughs> I'm like, okay, so like my personal perspective is that I wouldn't want them wearing too much foundation, that's just me. Mm -hmm. um, but if, if their parents are okay with it, I think what's really hot right now and is just a wonderful, wonderful product is Mineral Powder Foundation. Mineral, I've heard about Mineral Powder. It is just the best and it's absolutely one of my favorite products. Mm -hmm. um, and the Mineral Powder goes on light. Yes. It is a foundation, but you can brush it on and you can brush it off. Um, and you can put on as much as you think you need. Okay. And if you're oily, which a lot of teenage girls are, they're going through puberty, their skin's doing all kinds of things, mm -hmm. the, the Mineral Powder will keep the oil down. Oh, okay. And so and it's also got some nutrients in it that are going to be good for their skin. So okay, let me ask you this. When mm -hmm. you're putting this foundation on, mm -hmm. girls or anybody, doesn't it cake on you? Oh, it doesn't. If you start to press fire, can it cake on you? It, certain mineral powder in and of itself is meant to absorb the perspiration and keep you oh. matte, keep your skin matte and not shiny. So It, it doesn't really, cake? It doesn't cake. It doesn't cake. It doesn't cake. It's okay. wonderful. I'm like, you're like, I really? believe you. I'm not kidding. I believe <laughs> no, you. No, seriously. It's a wonderful, wonderful product. Really? Mm -hmm. I'll probably get some of that. 